I can have bugs on me. This fox comes mobbing your house. Y'all need to get up. here with the mukbang look at this we got strawberry shortcake so today we're going to be talking about love little tay out here balling in the eye gate i dropped 200 racks on this car and i'm only nine years old i got the keys to this car see this these are butterfly wings y'all haven't seen this car in your lives i've been driving this around the bedroom So y'all hmm. probably y'all probably already heard about Lil Tay, but my mom just found out who Lil Tay is. So we're doing a Lil Tay video. So What do you think of Lil Tay, Mom? Well, at first I believed it. And then we kept, like, creeping on her stuff. And and then you find out that her mom actually works for a real estate company out of Canada. And that they were using those houses to um, take all their pictures and videos and stuff in and using their cars and shit. Yeah. So, I don't know. Evidently, it, it's all fake. Like, all her flex was fake. Yeah, at first it seemed convincing. She was like, I'm no Tay. I'm young flex of the century. This truck costs more than your rent. I got beat down my rent. Message to all y'all broke-ass haters. Y'all ain't doing it like Lil Tay. This is why all y'all fucking haters hate me, bitch. This shit cost me 200000 I'm only nine years old. I ain't got no license, but I still drive this sports car, bitch. Your favorite rapper ain't even doing it like Lil Tay. This Lil Tay, let me tell y'all something. This shit costs more to your rent. My toilet costs more to your rent. Everything in my bathroom costs more to your rent. And see, this is my closet. Everything here be designer. Gucci, Louis, Versace. And also, when I was six years old, I lived in Atlanta, and I was broke as hell. But one day I woke up, I said to myself, I ain't gonna be broke no more. So I got up and I started working hard, moving bricks, and now we be living in the hills. See that view? Y'all don't have that view. And I be holding your mama's rent. This bed cost me a Lamborghini, and I work hard. So if y'all work hard, y'all can accomplish your dreams just like I did. This bitch. Yeah, like at first it was convincing, but then when you see the one of her brother coaching her, like, oh my god. Yeah, I mean, at that point, I don't know, kind of like felt kind of sorry for her at that point. Yeah. But, I don't know, I'm conflicted because she is a nine-year-old child. I kind of did feel sorry for her too, but at the same time, I feel like she did that 
persona for a while, so it is like a part of who she really is. Is there any more whipped cream? We're gonna go get some. Back. So yeah. I'm young fucks of the century, bitch. Y'all yeah, can't never flex on me. This house costs more than your house. Y'all need to get a house as big as mine. We got the biggest mobile home on the block. Just joking. The neighbors got the biggest mobile home on the block. We gonna have to ask the neighbors. We can flex at their mobile home. Hey, double wide trailer. I got the little ghetto bathroom. Damn. Y'all can't play as hard as me. I'm mi I'm millionaire. I make billions, bitch. One more. Sure. Mmm, we're cream. Get no license. Yummy. My just got verified. Y'all all said I wouldn't make it, but bitch, look, I'm verified now. Lil Tay, the youngest fucks of the century. Bitch, I just got verified. Oh. God damn it, what the hell? Ouch! Dang it! Ow! I'm going to the police! You're crazy! Shut Seems like it like melts into the strawberries. Yeah. I don't know if it's just the kind that we got. I think it's the the kind it that might you just be. be the kind. I have the other kind. I don't need any like spoon out. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I kinda of feel bad for Lil Tay, but but I feel like she probably kinda of did like that life somewhat too though, you know what I mean? She got three or two famous at the same time. Well, apparently she's living with her dad now. I mean, she w she was making money off of her YouTube content and stuff. Like, like she might have faked it, but then once she started getting famous, she still was making her money. So yeah, I mean, she did work hard, but at the same time, like she tried too hard. Well, we're still making money, I wonder. I, I don't know. I don't know. I almost want to look it up and see. I think it said that her YouTube was deleted and her Instagram. All her social media content is deleted because I think her dad, her dad don't want her like that. Her dad makes her go to normal school and be isolate. It's probably hard to go from being that way to like all of a sudden back to normal nine year old, ten year old, whatever. That's what I say. I mean, it's probably like. I mean, they might have pushed her to get that persona, but at the same time, like, you know, you start to become part of that. Like, like it, it had to be hard for her to be like making money on YouTube and feeling like a star, meeting all these celebrities to just homeschooling with her freaking dad. No, right? I would get very depressed. Yeah, no social media. Yeah. Like, apparently, she just went ghost on social media. Yeah, after getting, like, all that fame and stuff. But, you know, once she turns 18, she's probably going to be right back at it. Like, she's not going to need any coaching then. She's not going to know the culture. Probably by the time she's 13 or 14, she'll be back at it. Once she's old enough to gain a little bit of power back. If her dad will ever let her. Shoot. I don't know. She sure is a big talker in her videos, so I don't know that. I'm like, damn, this little bitch got fucking ass. Sasha out. You can probably hear her ass coughing. We're so tired of having she Sasha always in the videos. Coughs. Trapping out of six star hotels, and I got the iPhone 
colleges have. Y'all have iPhone 5. And I'll be drinking your college tuition, bitch. Lil Tay be drinking good. I got this Gucci lid roller. This shit cost me six thou. And I'll be using it to brush off all y'all raggedy ass hoes. This iPhone cost me 2,000 bucks. What y'all know about that life? This Lil Tay, and I'm the youngest flexer of the century. Yeah, I came in with salt. Oh, yeah, I came in with salt. Yeah, bitch, I'm very raw. Yeah, bitch, I'm very raw. Yeah. Merry Christmas, bitches. To all my fans out there, I love y'all with all my heart. I hope y'all get whatever you want for Christmas. And to all the haters, I hope y'all get cold from Santa Claus. Man, I bet YouTube's tired of hearing it too. <laughs> Sasha, go lay down. She still has good quality of life. Even though she has a cough that is annoying. always persisting and annoying, yes. But she, okay, off Lotte onto the coughing dog. <laughs> So, on to the coffee dog. You we can just call her Little Coffee. So, Little Coffee over here. She she uses the coffee for attention seeking though. It's not all oh poor me. Like mm -hmm. she'll be quiet for hours asleep, and as soon as I make one step out of my door, she <laughs> and then she go running back to my mom's door. <laughs> And then she'll come running to my door when I'm trying to sleep. That way I'll yell at her and she can try to get into her room. She does that so she can come to my room. Because she knows that if I hear Jesse yell and go, Sasha, shut up. Then I'll come out and get Sasha and Sasha knows it. So she does that as a trick to get into my bedroom. Yeah, because if she, she literally, she won't stop doing it. And it's not that. I mean, she could lay down and she's fine. But she does it for attention seeking. No, yeah, right? And I tried to tell my grandma once, and my grandma's like, oh, poor baby. <laughs> and I said, you don't understand it, though. I live with this dog. So I, I live with this dog good. every day. She she's is a manipulator. Man. Yes, I was going to say that. She manipulates she, the situation get what she wants. I know. Crystal's in here. Yeah, because we got food. Yeah, Crystal's my dog. She's never in my room. Especially this time of night. She's usually under my bed and I can't get her out. Yeah. And if I don't let her in there, she'll be jumping on the door. Wake Tony up. Mm-hmm. She's annoying. All the dogs know how to manipulate us. Mm-hmm. They know how to get what they want. The cat, she don't get because she's still new. Mm, she's still a baby. But the dogs, they're manipulating. But I'm sure she'll learn. Cherry thinks that if she meows enough, she's going to get everything she wants. She thinks all she has to do is go sit in front of the food dish and meow. Yeah. Like, and then it's just, like, automatically going to be filled. Just because she went... I know. No, bitch, I'm not feeling your fucking bowl. Excuse my language. Uh -huh. I'm not feeling your bowl every time you decide to meow in front of it. Like, no, we're not even starting that bad habit. Yeah, and the cat, she only trying to lay on my laptop right here. Mm -hmm. so you'll see her on my game channel, Wild Kingdoms. I'm making a video of a theme park from start to finish, and then the whole time I'm trying to build the park, you see the, me moving the cat. No, no. Literally, the whole time she just want to lay on the freaking computer. I know. She tries, um, she thinks that if she sticks her paws underneath the door and scratches, she can open my bedroom door. It's like, it's annoying, but maybe she'll learn not to do it. Yeah. I'll be laying there, not here. And the door is going. <laughs> I'm like, damn, this cat wants in. Like, I don't let her in my room. No, I don't know why she don't come in here at night sometimes, because I just be awake half the night. 
So like three or four at least. Just trying to get in my get in my room. And why all the animals want to go in your room? I don't know. Like it's weird, isn't it? Like what the hell is like so special about my room? Well, now Sachi will go in your room to be a bitch when I don't give her any of my food. Like, if I don't eat anything late at night, then Sachi get mad she'll go in your room. Is that what she's been doing? Yeah. I wonder why the heck is Sachi in my room when I wake up in the morning. It's like, damn, all the dogs want to be in there. She's manipulating. She'll try to manipulate me to get treats. Mm. And then if I don't get it, she'll go in your room because then she knows. I'm like, what the heck? I don't get no pets that want to hang out with she me. She is a manipulator. Like, what the fuck? Where's my pets? Sachi, I'll be sitting, like, in the room, and I'll be, like, eating something. Like, yesterday. Or well, maybe it was day four. One of the days, I was eating, like, bacon. Maybe, like, bacon, eggs, or whatever. Yeah. And, like, I was eating bacon. She's sitting across the room, just like. I know. <laughs> she straight up looks pissed. Just you don't doing that the whole time I was eating, she just went. Yeah, she's just like, a brat. Yeah, like, like you, spoiled brat. Like you, stupid bee. You get to eat bacon and I don't like that yeah. kind of look. Like mm -hmm. I hate you. Like I hate you kind of look. I know that's what she does. Well, I'm not damn dog. She's a resentful dog. Uh, don't be trying to, like, stare me down with your death stare. Yeah, that's what she do to me all night. And then if I don't get her cheats, then she'll go in her there. That's why I, I sometimes have to block the whole door off. Because, well, y'all, I could close the door, but it's hot. So I leave it open for the AC. So I literally have to block the whole bottom of the door off to keep the freaking dog out. And then... It's like, she's just a bitch if you don't give her cheat. She literally. I know. She does. She gives you the the death stare. But she'll do it, like, like forever. Like, she'll just go on mm -hmm. and on. Like, for me at night, when it's just me by myself, she'll still do it for, like, four hours from, like, midnight to literally four in the morning. She'll just be. Her death stare is creepy, too. <laughs> <laughs> she got a creepy death stare. I know. But she get that look like it creeps me out sometimes. I feel like we should almost call her in here. So I'd be like, is it like evil look? Sachi. I'd be like, was this dog a human sometime? <laughs> she's, she's in here. She's listening the whole time. Are you human? Sachi. Oh, she looks so cute now, though. Mm. Of course she's cute. Because we gotta eat without her. She's gonna get mad in a minute though. If she thinks she's gonna get something and she don't get nothing, and then we keep eating, she's gonna get pissed in a minute. She's gonna get pissed off. Ooh, Shanti. What? She moved. I have a hidden dog can. What, Sachi? Okay, put it back for this and just give her time to get pissed off. After she gets pissed off, then we'll show you guys the look. If we ignore her and don't give her any attention, she's gonna get mad in a minute. I don't make camera focus. Y'all gonna see all my broken teeth when I open my mouth. One <laughs> <laughs> hmm. of these days, y'all, we're gonna do a hillbilly skit for you. Because when I was a kid, I would always go camping. And then I would always do the hillbilly skit when I was like seven, eight, nine. And then it'd be so good. It'd be all about eating possums and everything. So we're going to recreate it now that I'm grown. We just thought it'd be a good um, video idea. So.
Y'all gonna have to watch that. Yeah. It's gonna be funny. Yeah. We're gonna be funny when we wanna be. Yeah, we're gonna be wanna be. Otherwise, we're a bunch of mean old bitches. Mean old bitches. <laughs> Who else can we talk about besides Lil Tay? 6 9 No, we gotta do that for a whole nother video. Mm -hmm. That's too juicy of a topic to do at the end of a clip. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. I feel like we do better when we don't plan what we're gonna talk about. Alright, because it's like, why is it so hard to like think of something on the spot? How do people do that shit? I have to think for a minute. I don't know, but I went to IHOP yesterday, and I tried this Morticia's Haunted Hot Chocolate for like the Adam Family's IHOP promotion. Was it good? No. It was um, not good. I thought it was going to be like purple whipped cream. But instead, it was like some sort of thick ass cake frosting on top of the hot but chocolate. My question is, it was not good. Why are they making hot chocolate when it's a hundred damn degrees out in, in Texas still? I always get hot, hot chocolate. chocolate. I always get hot chocolate. I'm probably like the one weird white person in San Antonio that I go to I have. I always get the hot chocolate. It's too hot here for hot chocolate right now. Well, they be keeping it cold in there, so I just get hot chocolate. With the AC. <laughs> and then no different than coffee. And then John, yeah. No, I'll be drinking coffee. It's like 110 degrees out. John, he always make fun of me. <laughs> and then he made fun of me. He's all like, you only wanted the purple hot chocolate because you're purple hoodie, you're purple hair. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, nah, John, you know if it's any Halloween stuff, I gotta try it. Purple rain. Only one see in the no, you can see it. sing it better than me. <laughs> you know it better than me. But I'm not a singer. <laughs> I'm not either. <laughs> Eat nothing. What's up, damn bitch? Flock a flock, big rich. Diamonds on my necklace. San Antonio, Texas. Shooting at your bitches. Pushing way through bitches. Hoping that snitching. They gon' call you stitches, swimming with the fishes. They don't want to test us, yo. Diamonds on my necklace, I can f diamonds on my necklace. I look so impressive, swagging till death. Man, a reaper with the hoodie band. He can be who I am, I be like yeah yeah with the band. Oh yeah yeah yeah, no the legend. We be popping, it's loaded, blowing up like a terrorist. Came through your town, he can put it down. Diamonds on my necklace, I can fucking reckless, leave your bitch breathless, diamonds on my necklace, diamonds on my necklace.